There, joining us now, former Deputy Independent Counsel Saul Weisenberg. So, Saul, it's always a pleasure having you having you on. What was your reaction to this acquittal? I wasn't very surprised by it. Durham had a really tough job, which was to prove that the false statement that Danchenko allegedly made was material to the FBI. And it's pretty clear that the FBI didn't want to know anything negative about the Steele dossier. And so uh, I can very easily see a jury saying, well, it wasn't material to the FBI. So I'm not surprised. That's a really high standard. There was word that the judge was going to toss out the conviction anyway. That's what's happening, too. The other thing, too, is, you know, it's how the media has been reporting on this, Saul. It's what was going on behind the scenes at the FBI. Let's, they're saying there's no deep state. That's not the point. There's, it's what the FBI was doing that was alarming. Let's listen to former Attorney General William Barr's reaction to all of this on America's Newsroom. Watch this. The real public interest here was being served by exposing the full extent of, of uh, the corruption that was involved in the Russia Gate and the abuse uh, by the FBI in that whole episode. And I think uh, Durham is going to get a report out that's going to lay out all the facts. What do you think, Saul? Oh, I definitely agree with that. And Barr made that point when he was still attorney general. Just because something is corrupt and wrong doesn't necessarily mean it's a crime. So I do think that will come out in the Durham report. On the other hand, uh, you don't want to use a criminal prosecution to make that point unless you can also prove your case. I think Durham thought he could prove his case, but it was, it's very tough here when the so-called victim organization, the FBI, is itself engaged in basically covering up the problems it encountered with the Steele dossier. So, yeah, media like MSNBC is saying this proves Trump's deep state attacks are a lie. Former FBI officials say this is the issue, to your point. It's about what voters never knew was going on behind the scenes at the FBI and breaking and bending the rules to spy on the Trump campaign using Hillary's opposition research, including what the DOJ IG found. And they misled the FISA court meant for terrorists, 17 errors and problems there. It's, you know, it's also about how the Hillary campaign and the DNC helped fund this opposition research, pushed it into the FBI, and also that the other story they were pushing, that the Trump organization was talking to a Russian bank when that was just reportedly Trump hotel marketing spam emails. You know what I mean, Saul? Well, yeah, but keep, it, keep in mind, it's not just Durham. The Department of Justice's own... Uh, uh, Inspector General Michael Horowitz found a lot of this stuff out. He's the one who first exposed all of the falsehoods in the Pfizer report. He's not a Republican or anything like it. So don't get, don't focus on issues like I would say to people, don't focus on issues like is there a deep state or not. Focus on the fact that this was a completely corrupt uh, political investigation, and it was basically the lead figure in it is James Comey, and there's no there's no really question about that anymore at all. And the Durham uh, probe so far has helped to show that. That's interesting. And the other, to your point, yeah, and e even the Mueller probe, which found problems, right? The Mueller probe was shutting down FBI agents who said, "Wait a second, you know, the FBI is using Christopher Steele, who's talking to a Clinton operative. Shouldn't we look into his connections to things like Putin's press secretary? But they were shut down. So FBI, even the Mueller probe, the team was shutting down FBI analysts and agents who were raising questions about what was going on, Saul. That's right. And that was testimony from this trial under oath. And the Mueller people said... Uh, wouldn't give them the, the approval to question key witnesses. And so it's no wonder the jury might have said, well, of course it wasn't material to the FBI. They didn't care. That's it. Saul Weisenberg, great analysis as always. We'll have you back on again soon. It's good to see you.